Actually, oh. Michaela said that you guys need to play the music for her as well because no. she wants to do it. So play the music, Greg. Play the music. Just play the music. MJ on the ship. Come on, Michaela. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Show, show your face to Miss Auntie. You just nailed it. <laughs> you are flexing us on us, not only in the kitchen, but you have some dance moves. <laughs> Come on, girl. I'm so excited. Okay, back to the kitchen. We are wow. in the kitchen right now. And sometimes you know that thing, eh? When you see cake in your mind, you automatically think of something sweet. How about trying a savory cake? Well, this cornmeal cake with a buttermilk glaze is going to be sexy like Michaela's dance moves. But it is also a lovely addition as a side to some bright chops or a saucy steak. Michaela, show us your moves, show us everything while I put on my apron. I didn't expect that, girl. I try not to show the, these things. Oh, you're a dancer. You were no, dancer. Stop she used to be a ballet dancer. Back in the day. So that is exactly why she knows how to move like that. It's time for you to move in the kitchen. Yes. Okay. Stab your egg yolks. Boop. I always do that. It's so That's much fun. Okay. So we have some egg yolks that we are just going to break up there. Wet ingredients. We have some buttermilk. Buttermilk. So that's going into the eggs. Nice. You, okay. You are you left-handed? I am. It looks odd on TV. Everyone said that. We're to actually me. just speaking about that not too long ago about left-handedness and having the dominance um, of your left hand. Baz is also. That is so cool. Smart people. Smart people. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we, we're in the ten percent of the world, so you know we've had to fight to survive. Yay, I'm yeah. glad you fought, because look at you now, chef, dancer, extraordinaire. <laughs> you are just doing the things, girl. Um, what did you throw in? Cornmeal. Cornmeal, obviously, that is the yes. one of the zero uh, ingredients here. So, of course, we the main base ingredients for the cake is only five ingredients. You can add uh, additional ingredients like bultong, sweet, uh, peppers, some cheese, sun-dried tomatoes or olives. Olives, it is entirely up to you, but this, I think, is best served with some grilled lamb chops. Wow. Like some steak if you oh, wanted to do that. Good. Like what else? Look, what else? That sounds like a good just like weekend braai. Yum. Yeah. Corn as well going into that. Yes, because that's also this. one of the hero ingredients. The optional extras in this are some bultong powder. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Two whole wheels rounds. Wheel oh. rounds? Wheel, wheel rounds. Wheel rounds up, of feta. And some sun-dried tomatoes. Mm. What do you have on your end? Oh, you have the glaze. So I have so the we, glaze, of we course. We have some buttermilk. Yes. Some honey. And that's going to go in here. And some thyme. Time after time. Wow. Here you and go. And we just want to mix all of those together and just crumble in the feta. But I love that this is a savoury, or if you have a sweet tooth, it hits both of those boxes. Just don't add um, the savoury things like the cheese and the sun-dried tomatoes and the bultong if you want to go for like more of a sweet vibe. No, but I'm saying because of the honey glaze that's in here, it will still like balance out the flavours of that savoury with the feta. With that's the... true. Although, it's still kind of more on the savoury savory side. No, definitely, yeah. definitely. And the thyme definitely makes it more savoury. Mm, that herb, that fresh herb of the thyme. Sometimes I think thyme can be very overpowering. Yes. You have to use it, you know... Sparingly. Very sparingly and make sure that you use the right amount. Otherwise, everything you taste is just like... Dum, 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 dum. Okay. <laughs> okay, so thyme's not your favourite herb. Clearly not. <laughs> am I putting it in like this or am I just... Break the sprigs off. Oh, okay, there we go. You should actually go in that reverse. Do you know it comes off easier if you go in reverse? Oh! oh. Wow! Now she's a dancer, now she's a teacher, now she is... I <laughs> taught you, so you something. You taught me something new. I wonder if Zoe knows this. I should actually find out. Probably Maybe we does. should get Zoe to eat some of this batter. <laughs> Shame. We can't let Zoe always eat the, the raw batter. She really. loves it. It's the best thing I've learned today. Thank you, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to put this in, obviously, into our baking tin. How long does it go for? 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. You take it out. Um, Nicole did suggest that we do a delicious cake version of this. So you do two layers and then you top it in the middle. Well, in the middle, you put cream cheese. Ooh. How delicious. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That will elevate it. And, of course, our glaze goes on the top. Yes. You can pair this with steak. You can pair this as is, whatever you want to do. If you want to get your hands on the recipe, all you have to do is head on over to our website, expressoshow.com, and dinner, lunch, breakfast, whatever you want to call it, is served.